the uh, followers of the Church of Latter-day Saints, better known as Mormons, came out here, they decided to build their city, town, here on the banks of this lake, but there were all kinds of mountains around. Uh, first, they were persecuted back in the Midwest because of their beliefs. And now, of course, Utah has become a successful state. A couple of million people. Salt Lake City is having the Olympics in 2002, the Winter Olympics, February of 2002. There are only 160-odd thousand people in Salt Lake City, which is a surprise at how small it is. It's modern, sleek, and new, partly because the Mormons have so vastly much money. They've, the Mormons have had to tithe ever since the beginning, 150 or 60 years ago. So the Mormon church is an enormously rich institution in various ways. And I guess part of the reason that the population survived and grew was because they did practice polygamy. Brigham Young, who brought them here after the original, after Joseph Smith and his brother were killed in, back in the Midwest, Brigham Young had 20 wives. So goodness knows how many children. They all had lots of wives and lots of children. So I think there are now 4 million Mormons in the U.S. The Great Salt Lake and the the Dead Sea are the two saltiest inland lakes in the world. So much salt in it you can float without sinking. Oh, I should take my glasses off. Thirty-two, so we know who you are. Una dos tres. <laughs>